Today we want to think about righteousness, God's righteousness. I mean, everyone has some knowledge of good and bad, of righteousness and unrighteousness. But they all have different standards. The only important standard is still God's standard. God is righteous, says the Bible. Or the Bible also says he is not unrighteous. This is God's character and it is very encouraging to think about it. So we want to think about God's righteousness in connection with Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and the love which you have shown to his name having ministered to the saints and still ministering. In connection with this verse, we like to think about four main aspects and apply them into our life. So the first one is, God is not unrighteous. This verse doesn't show the God's righteousness in regards to sinner or the work of the Lord Jesus and justification by him. No, this verse presents God's righteousness in relation to our ministry. Just as God is righteous about sin, he is righteous about what we do for him. And here as well, in regards to our ministry, God's standard is the only one that counts and not the standard of any person. The second point is that God doesn't forget. That's wonderful. Every single act done out of love for Christ is noticed and is not forgotten. Every great act of faith, as well as the little things that are often so unimportant and unimpressive for us, they all have their value in God, God's eyes. The Bible says if only a cup of water is given in the name of the Lord, then that is valuable for God. The third point we want to think about is that God sees love in us. God is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart, as it says in Hebrews 4, verse 12 and 13. So no heart is hidden from him. Everything is naked and laid bare to his eyes. We like an open book for him. So God judges our actions all through our lives, but looks, of course, especially into our hearts. He knows exactly our motives for our actions, and he alone can judge them fairly. So the fourth point in today's verse is about the ministry to his own. The Apostle Paul would like to encourage the believers to continue in the ministering to the saints. It is one thing to serve someone because I like them. But it's another thing to serve someone simply because they have the divine nature. By the divine nature we are able to serve one another in love regardless of our natural affections. This is a wonderful blessing that can only be found in God's family. So isn't this verse also an encouragement for us to continue in the ministry for the Lord? How quickly we get discouraged because the service is not noticed and appreciated by our brothers and sisters in the Lord. Then let's Keep in mind that God notice it and does appreciate it, if it is done his name. Or perhaps our motives have been misjudged, something that unfortunately happens too often. Even then, we should hold fast the knowledge that the Lord knows and sees the true motives of the heart. This is a real consolation and gives us courage to continue in our 
ministry. At the end of this video, I'd like to share a thought that encouraged me over the last month. It is wonderful to think about that God will not forget all our deeds done with, for him with the right motives. But it's also encouraging to think that he will never remember our sins anymore once they're confessed. That alone should be motivation enough to continue our ministry for him.